Hi Richard, you've asked us to come down and put oilseed rape on 120 uh, acres, why? Uh, because the flea beetle has absolutely decimated this crop and at the moment we haven't got enough plants here to have a good crop so we're spreading extra seed on to hopefully fill the crop in to make it into a full crop. If you look at the plants that we've got here, they're being completely decimated by the flea beetle. It's classic shot holing and we've only had the rain recently which is going to help the plants get away uh, but previous to that it's been very dry and very hot and it's been still on an evening and the plants have not grown away quick enough from the flea beetle. On a bright sunny September morning we loaded up with a scoop of oilseed rapeseed and headed out to the fields. The first order of the day was to create an accurate field map that accounted for the overhanging trees that surround many of the fields, so we jumped in the gator. With the map saved, we loaded up the big XAG P100's 50 litre hopper with oilseed rape and set up the drone's flight specs. For this job, we'd be flying at 12 metres per second, which is about 43 kilometres per hour or 27 miles per hour, and the flight height was set to 7 metres above the ground. Our spread width was set to 6 metres and our application rate was set to 9 kilos per hectare. Now you might think that 9 kilos per hectare was a bit heavy, but we're allowing for reasonable flea beetle losses at the early stages of growth. While the drone is hard at work spreading, it monitors the hopper levels. When it senses that they're getting low, it automatically records its exact location, then returns back to its takeoff points using the most efficient route possible. That's when the pit crew jump into action, changing both batteries and refilling the hopper. Then all the pilot in charge has to do is hit the resume button and the P100 heads back to the place where it left off and continues with the job. With fields ranging from 7 to 16 hectares in size, we were averaging about 12 hectares per hour on this job. Hopefully we'll get a good shower of rain and these seeds can germinate and grow away from these pesky flea beetles.